Hello YouTubers, Alaska Prepper here. So I just finished getting my morning coffee from my favorite gas station. <laughs> I wanted to share a quick story with you all. Maybe it's a message, but you can take it how you will. And it's something that happened to me this morning and it made me sit back and reflect. And it also allowed me to realize what a good person and what a good son my son is and it also allowed me to realize that had I done what he did this morning that maybe things would have been better between my father and I not that things were bad between my father and I my father was a very good father he always provided I never went without. I may not have had the best things, but I had what I needed in order to grow up and be able to be a responsible adult and be a productive member of whatever society I decided to go and be a member of. But my dad while I was growing up was working. Uh, he worked from as long as I can remember, he worked at least two jobs. And sometimes, if I remember right, he'd worked three jobs, not three full-time jobs. So, you know, he always had a full-time job and uh, he had a part-time job doing tailoring. And then he'd also have another part-time job doing whatever else. But I can always remember him having at least two jobs, sometimes three. So I didn't really get to know my dad until after he retired from work. And I'm grateful for the time that I had to get to know him, to get to know his history, and to get to know the things that he did, you know, when he was younger. I'm grateful for that time. But things may have been different for me and my dad had I done what my son did today. So today I was sitting downstairs, you know, I wake up fairly early in the morning and I was sitting downstairs and my son came down to use the restroom and on his way back up, he said, Dad, and I'm like, yeah, what's up, buddy? He said, why don't we do things anymore? We used to always do something. We used to go watch movies together. We used to go to the range. You know, we always used to do something. Maybe not all the time, but always did something. And I was really taken aback. I was, I didn't know what to say. And the first thought that came to my mind was to tell him, well, you know, I'm busy doing this and working on the house and, you know, I just started thinking about excuses that I can come up with to get out of that situation that he put me in by asking that question. And I decided to say, no, I'm not going to make up any excuses because there are none. And it made me realize that no matter what it is that you're doing in life, you have to remember what is the most important thing to you. And I'm asking myself, why am I doing all of this? Why am I working, you know, building a house, prepping for my family, if in the end, my family will be lost? because I lost that connection with them that made us a family. So it still has me thinking. It has me thinking about, does my daughter feel the same way? Does my wife feel the same way? And if my son 
had not asked me that question, I'd have never asked myself the same question. Does my daughter, does my wife feel that way? Does my family feel that way? Why would I do everything that I'm doing? Why would I do all the sacrifices that I'm doing? If in the end, my own family is not going to know who I am. So what it comes down to, ladies and gentlemen, is this. People and family are more important than things. Stop making excuses as to why you can't take care of those that you love in an emotional way while you're spending so much time trying to take care of them in a physical way by prepping. I think that prepping a relationship with your family is just as important, if not more, than prepping food. Sure, food will keep them alive, all right? Water will keep them alive. But in the end, if you end up alone because you lost yourself and therefore lost your family, then what was it for? I am very grateful for this opportunity. I am very grateful for the opportunity that my son has given me so that I can correct my behavior. So for that, I want to thank him and tell him that I love him.